Good evening, folks, or whatever time it is where you are. So, I uploaded that video um, a couple of days about a couple of days ago about um, Kali Yug, and I cited um, Elon Musk as an example to really identify that we're in Kali Yuga based on the predictions that Krishna made allegedly over 5,000 years ago. Now, it seems that that was a complete and utter anomaly because I've looked at other Elon Musk videos now and uh, it seems as normal service has resumed. We have a man of great wealth being mistaken for a man of great wisdom. So, this got me thinking about Ahriman and Rudolf Steiner. And Rudolf Steiner has got lectures about the incoming incarnation of Ahriman. If you haven't listened to them, I suggest you go and listen to them because they are utterly fascinating. They are spellbinding. They are so interesting to listen to. So Ahriman is the opposite end of the spectrum of Lucifer and Christ is in the middle between Lucifer and Araman. So Christ is the point of reconciliation. Although Lucifer being the light bearer, Lucifer is not as Christians would have you think, but really Lucifer is actually Christ as well. So if I think about the incarnation of Araman, this is essentially going to be, uh, I've realised that the incarnation of Araman is going to be the same thing as the incarnation of Kali Yug because as Hindu law goes Kali Yug will possess someone and he takes over people's vessels his abodes his abodes are places of gambling drinking prostitution um, and wealth so when I, when I think about Araman, really what I see is that Araman is going to be a psychopathic consciousness that is going to have no regard for um, humanity in terms of human emotions, um, human spirituality, human decency, human honesty, um, compassion, etc., it's just not going to work like that. And I'll tell you why I think that. Because to me, it seems that the eventual incarnation of Araman will be facilitated by artificial intelligence. And it's this artificial intelligence that is going to be um, extremely oppressive to humanity. And... The world is accelerating towards this inexorable incarnation. Now I think about it. I think when I was thinking about maybe the end of Kali Yuga, I had some hopium going on, but I, I just don't see how that's the case. Now, nevertheless, with all this said, um, there's no need to get down about it because remember your self-worth, comes from within your own psyche and your own soul and your own spirit it's not if you take your self-worth from physical events in the outside world then that's really a, a, a really bad mistake to make because we cannot control the outside world it is what it is it's going to do what it's going to do all we can do is go through the experiences and learn from them and really harvest whatever wisdom comes our way and keep a winning attitude throughout those experiences. I mean, really, that's what I've learned in the past couple of years. Um, so anyway, on, on Araman, you look at uh, Facebook are really creating you know, this new platform where people will be plugged into a virtual reality. And, and if you look at how uh, social media has gained in influence over society in the last 10 years plus, um, 
you know, everyone's essentially going to get hooked on this alternate Oculus Rift reality, this virtual world where, you know, you're you're going to be you're going to be a nobody in the in the in the real world. When I say real world, I mean the temporal world. But in uh, Zuckerberg's fantasy virtual reality, you can be, you know, whoever you want to be. And that really reminds me of um, the Star Trek episode where Janeway dies and she has an alien trying to possess her and capture her soul and take it into a matrix where she'll serve the alien. It's a very, very spooky yet very fascinating uh, episode, that one. So I was reading the other day how... Um, Essentially, DNA is actually a model. DNA is a model, and it's a model based on um, platonic solids, which is completely interlinked with the elementals, including spirit and um, and occult chemistry, which uh, the hydrogen atom will break down to the Arnu, which is the limit of the physical plane, whereby the astral plane is what's beyond. And I was thinking about this, like, how is it that 95% of our DNA is junk DNA? This clearly must be complete nonsense, you know, because nature doesn't make mistakes. You know, it's like people have their, uh, they have their um, male pets castrated. So it's not so aggressive, again, as if, nature made some kind of mistake and in america they say you have to fix your dog i mean it's really quite awful that is um i think personally so anyway uh, i'm on a train of thought here so 95 percent of our dna is allegedly junk dna according to the sheer wisdom not of modern science and modern physics again something modern science i digress here has been shown that it's completely not infallible because essentially the data can be fudged, aka um, pandemic data and climate change fraud. Well, I'm not going to go on about that now. So back to the DNA. DNA is a model derived from um, the platonic solids. So the accumulation of different platonic solids what can actually build up the geometry of DNA, or more specifically, the DNA, the geometry of a chromosome. And if we take the animal kingdom and mankind, we actually share this 95% apparent junk DNA with all other animals in that animal kingdom. And it, it would seem to me that the DNA, or like I say, the chromosome, the you know, there's this ostensible junk to the vast majority of it. The chromosomes seem like they're actually a conduit for um, our connection to spirit. Now, if we go back to Rudolf Steiner and Ahriman, Rudolf Steiner said that uh, vaccines would be used to essentially eradicate spirituality and the spiritual identity from man. Which is really quite a, uh, a shocking, a shocking thought. And this does haunt me, is the idea that someone's right to do the real great work could be taken away. Which is really the other great work that globalists are all engaged in and the transhumanists, etc. So... The idea is preposterous that 95% of our DNA is junk. Obviously, none of it's junk. Like I uh, adduced with fixing your dog, nature doesn't really make mistakes at all. So, you know, it may be severe and indifferent nature and uncertain, yet it does not make mistakes. It, it's all... It... it it is really a symphony of geometry and mathematical precision. I think I'm quoting the architect from the Matrix there. So, 
if we if we take Klaus Schwab, Klaus Schwab says that you are the fourth industrial revolution. You know, it's you because of the gene editing software that people are running out and getting, um, which they're being deceived into getting, you know, for some kind of safety and protection from, you know, I'm not even going to go on about that too much because of YouTube's community tyranny. So, you know, is it, is it, what I'm hypothesizing here is that is it actually our chromosomes, which is the seat of our soul, which connects spirit to our matter in our physical bodies? And on top of that, if Steiner is right about the vaccine that is going to eliminate spirituality, is that also why... Um, Is is that why Klaus Schwab is right and Rudolf Steiner is right in that the gene editing RNA from the needle craft is going to destroy your spirituality, your spiritual capacity because your natural organic vessel has been corrupted? You know, very, very interesting, very frightening as well. But again, your self-worth comes from within. So don't worry. It's all going to pass. So, yeah, it's very interesting to contemplate on all this. And there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely something very sinister going on. And when I think about Ahriman, and Ahriman is going to be this AI, and mankind is going to be plugged into this AI through uh, Zuckerberg, and the chromosome, our chromosomes will get corrupted, which will basically sever our connection to divinity. You know, is this all part of, you, you know, it, is it the sands of time or the wheels of time that demand this? Is this why this is happening? Is this why, is, you know, there's such a massive push of bullying, coercion, manipulation and fraud to get you to do something right now that you know within your heart and soul and your deepest intuition that you should not do you know is this really what it's all about there's definitely a culmination coming and if we also look at what's happening in australia um the outrageous tyranny in australia right now you know a 91 thousand dollar fine if you refuse to be needle crafted there seems to be a split occurring within humanity and and also of the people that have had the needle craft it also seems that it's shocking on tiktok the dehumanization of people that just don't want to get it from people who have had it. It, it it it's it's monstrous it's utterly monstrous where it's almost as if we're we're, we're like um were demonized and vilified as you know these bio factories spreading this evil disease when it's just simply not true it's simply not true healthy people don't infect sick people so it's all it, it's all it, if you connect the dots with steiner uh, and his his thoughts on vaccine um the transhumanist agenda, the technology technological capability of the Starlink and the Neuralink, uh, the coercion, and really the, uh, the 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 really quite frankly evil behaviour of governments in the world right now. There's definitely a trend to totalitarianism. Reality is being fictionalised. Uh, the truth is being uh, when I say the truth, I mean like the real truth, the, re the real truth of uh, our divine nature. Um, there's definitely it's been suppressed. Uh, I know Phil Lang didn't big question if it had been suppressed. It seems to me that it absolutely has been. Um, you know, this this information should be like 
general knowledge, not really in the darkest alleys of mysticism. But it is what it is, and we have to work w with what we've got. And, you know, I, I wouldn't say stay positive, positive, but really um, just stay in Dharma, like I've said before. So, yeah, that, I, I'm definitely getting these dots are starting to line up with you know chromosomes gene editing um neurolink vaccines it, it's all starting to convolute together and you may say well you're just taking a stab in the dark and connecting dots that aren't there I would say, okay, that's a fair point, but go and read Brzezinski's book, Between Two Ages, because everything I'm talking about has been outlined in that book that was written in the 1970s. And another interesting thing about that book is that he talks about how when the internet comes to be, a small portion of the population, and he's talking about truth seekers here, will be able to use the internet to actually discern um, what is going on in objective reality. And he's talking about the temporal reality in that. And there is a lot of that going on. Um, this is one of the kind of negative polarities for the globalists of the information age, is that there's a lot ac accessible at people's fingertips. So those who are wise and intelligent can find what they're looking for. And so, so, but my point here is, is on Brzezinski is that I've managed to use the internet and I know a lot of my other subscribers have, we've actually used the internet to not just discern what's going on objectively in our temporal reality, but we've also been able to find out the true nature of absolute reality from that. And that's something that really we've got Phil and Yvonne to thank for, but we should be like very heartened by that. That that's a, It's really a fantastic achievement when you take a step back. You know, everyone's chasing transience. Well, not everyone, but, you know, society teaches us to chase these fleeting transient things. Yeah. Really, it's those which are fixed, which are the only things that are real in an absolute perspective. So anyway, there's my ramble on that. Uh, I'm just trying to connect a few dots here. And uh, I'm not trying to, like, spread fear because there's nothing to fear about any of this. This is just really, you know, all the world is a stage, as Shakespeare said. And also, there is nothing new under the sun. So, you know, and as Plato said, that which comes to be never really is. So there's nothing really to worry about here. As frightening as it might seem on the surface, if we, if we dig down and evoke our wisdom, um, we'll, we'll, everyone will be just fine. So, well, everyone who desires to retain their... Um, inalienable rights and free will granted to them by god god the gods the archangels the angels the daemons the heroes it's all part of the spiritual hierarchy you know there's there's really no difference between in my mind there's no difference between um paganism and monotheism um it's it's it's, it's all one in the same because spirit exists in the zero dimensional plane of stillness so yeah uh i'm going to leave it there i've rambled on a bit um i hope people watching found this interesting and um yeah um that's where i'm at keep strong you're not going mad don't let again keep strong keep your inner strength and your fortitude you're not going mad you really are living in a crazy time and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it apart from enjoy the show. There's no need to worry. All is good with God always. And 
you know, the diamond is formed under intense heat and pressure. Remember that. So we're being put to the test, spiritually speaking. So, you know, stay strong, guys. Love you all. Bye.